Hey everyone, it's Michael here at Home Health Success Academy. In this video, we're gonna be talking about a sales proof toolkit, right? Does your home health marketers, your account executives, your liaisons, even your administrator and your DON have a sales proof toolkit? So when your nurse is visiting a patient at their house, they have a, what, a bag right? And in the bag, they have everything that they need to take care of the client. They have their sharps container. They have their garbage bags, right? To be able to create a area where you put the bag on top, which separates the clean from the dirty side, okay? You have your scissors. You have your blood pressure kit. You have your scale. You have all your different bandages. You have a variety of different tools within that bag that's going to do what? help you take care of the client. Your sales team must have a sales proof toolkit as well. And your sales team can only be a great sales team is if the company itself can provide the tools, the items that's gonna be able to make them stand out. If you're one of the agencies that only has a brochure, right? If they only have a brochure, then that's not really going to be very much of help for them because they shouldn't just be armed with a knife, right? What I'm trying to say is, do you or are you going to bring a knife to a gunfight? And we are in a big fight right now. If we want to get referrals, we are going to be fighting for our lives. So we must be ready to bring in the bazookas, the grenades, the tanks, whatever it is. And so this is where your salesperson must be prepared to be able to have all the tools that they need. So we talked about in other videos and other series of having, making sure that you have videos, you have webinars that you can actually show these things. And how can you show it? Your team should have a minimum of an iPad, a Service Pro, right? So that they can do a visual explanation, not just flyers by itself also. It's good to have those, but can they make it more visual? So your sales team must have this stuff as well. Your nurses should have their own computers and tablets nowadays to be able to do their charting. If your company is still using paper charting, you guys need to change up and you need to be able to make sure you start doing electronic charting. And these are other videos that we have to explain that even further. But going to your sales and marketing team, they must have a sales proof toolkit. They must have flyers and rack cards that does the how to just the basics. You should have a minimum of 25 educational based marketing materials that could be a different presentation every time that you actually visit a potential referral source. This is the minimum that you should have. And if you don't even have the minimum, it's not going to be really easy to have other companies change their ideas and mindset to start working with your company. You must be the company that can explain so many things, that can be the answers to a lot of problems that they're facing. So that is one thing that your sales proof toolkit must have. Okay. Another thing that your sales proof toolkit must have is a variety of different tchotchkes. You have to have your pens. And a lot of you guys sometimes will spend money on some really cheap looking pens. Let me ask this question. When you guys get your free pens from the other vendors that's marketing to you, do you keep the cheap pens or do you give it to someone else? Right? You're going to go for the nicer looking pens. You're going to keep those and then you're going to filter the crappy pens down to the people below you. So here's the thing. If you have a person who is highly important, the person that's going to give you the patients, the people that the person's going to give you the referrals, wouldn't it be nice to give them a nicer pen? Okay, and that's just talking about pens, right? And another reason, I'm, I'm not a person who loves giving out pens anymore, and the reason for that is because if I start buying pens for my marketers to hand out, I've walked into facilities where I'll see a marketer, you know, not get that appointment with the potential referral source, 
and they try, like I said, they try to stack them so hard with all the information and they try to bribe them with these pens and they give them like a stack of pens and say, here, here's a bunch of pens. You know, if you need us, just give us a call. And I'm looking at these marketers and I'm saying, you're giving away one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twenty 20 pens out. That's $20 that you lost for my company. Plus the one hour that's spent to you for you to be able to see this person and did not get to see them. So that's another lost revenue. So I'm losing 50, 60, 70 dollars for you coming here and you just gave away the money. And that's a big problem is we need to be able to minimize our spending. I am a proponent of less spending per visit, but increase the amount of visits. Right. And so that's something that we teach a lot in how and what to do every time that you visit, what to hand out, what to give away, how to actually give it away, not just giving it to them right there, hoping that you're giving them something that they're gonna talk to you, right? There is specific details on how it's actually handled, and we go through that with our further advanced training, and this is something that's important that you guys need to make sure you understand. So like I said, what is your sales proof toolkit? What do you have? Did you guys create this stuff? And also, if you're photocopying things, if, if you're still handing out stuff that are, that are black and white, it's a photocopy of a photocopy, then you really don't understand the importance of presentation. Because you wouldn't want to deal with a company that does a photocopy of a photocopy, and by the time that you give it to them, it's all crooked, okay? And if you're a company, and, and some of the basic things, if you don't even have a brochure for your company, then you're not ready. You're not ready to really face and to do what you need to do because you can't just expect your marketer that you just hired that just comes in and you think that they know what they do, right? Or you tell them, just do what you have to do and get us a patience. No, you must train them. You as a, as a marketer coming into an organization, you must demand everything that you can so that there is no objection for you to go out there. Okay, so let's say, for example, in your toolkit, you, you have your brochure, right? I will guarantee you that if I open up that brochure, that trifold, because 95% of the chance, even higher than that, you have a trifold brochure for your company. And the reason why you have a trifold brochure is because you've seen other agencies with trifold brochures. And just like anything else, you're looking just like them. And if you look at those trifold brochures and you open them up, it's gonna be the same exact thing. You're gonna talk about a paragraph about your company, how you guys were established. You're gonna have skilled nursing and do a whole paragraph about that sometimes. You're gonna do physical therapy, occupational therapy. It looks the same exact thing. And I will guarantee you, if you actually work with these, some of these other companies that creates flyers for you, they've actually used the same verbiage in your flyer and use it in another agency. They even actually use the same design, just change the color, just change the photos at times. But I can tell you this, go grab a minimum of 25 to 50 flyers of agencies in your area, put the flyers together, and I will guarantee you about three or four of them have the same photos from the same stock, right? So these are things that you need to be able to make sure that you have yourself stand out. So, you know, if you have your trifold brochure, who is that trifold brochure meant to? It's pretty much a reflection sometimes of, your, of just your website. No, no, you have to have a brochure meant for a physician, a brochure meant for a nursing home, a brochure meant to be given to a patient directly. You cannot use the same product in order to be able to target the different people that you're trying to get, right? So if we, if we go into social media, for example, if I'm, you know, we market for a lot of companies in social media, your delivery is gonna be different if you are marketing in Instagram and if you're marketing in Facebook and if you're marketing in LinkedIn. You have to have different ways of delivering messages. It goes the same exact way. You must speak to the person you're trying to reach. If you're giving a flyer to a patient or a potential daughter who's gonna refer their mom, you must speak to them. If you're gonna to go to a doctor, you must speak to a physician. Here's a fun fact, actually. If you're gonna be talking to a physician, what type of physician are they? We actually have different brochures that we've created that's gonna target a, a, um, a regular practitioner. It's gonna target a, a ortho physician, a cardiologist, a renal specialist, 
you must have different brochures that's going to attract them that speaks their language. Those are needed in your toolkit. This is what we call a sales proof toolkit. It's a bag or rolly bag or backpack or knapsack, whatever it is. You must have the right tools. Even now that we're even talking about brochures, if you have a trifold brochure right now, then you are really not ready. Because let me ask this question. The last time somebody gave you a trifold brochure, did you actually open it? People value time now. Just opening a brochure is too much work for someone. And reading it is the whole other thing. So designing your brochure is very important. I'm a person who suggests to create rack cards. It's a it's the size of a brochure if you want to, but it's back to back only and it has the basic explanation. You just need to give the bullet points of what your company is. You can easily hire somebody to design it. You can ask us to help you guys with it or choose to keep the same thing that you're using right now. It is up to you guys what you guys want to do, but I'm just trying to give you guys the bare minimum to make you guys stand out. A job of a brochure is when you hand it to someone, they can actually read it automatically. And if you hand, out, hand somebody a trifold brochure and the first page guaranteed is just a photo with your logo and your basic information, that's not doing anything. I want it when I give a brochure to someone and they hold it in their hands, they can already automatically scan what we do and who we are. It's an explanation right away. It's a quick pitch, just like the elevator pitch, and we're gonna help you guys with that system later on in other, in other training series. The thing that you have to understand is that you need to be able to deliver the message fast enough, but at the same time is delivering a lot of valuable information to them. Okay, so that's just talking about the brochures now, right? So I prefer rack cards. I actually prefer eight by 10 sheets that are not folded. Bam, when I hand that brochure to you, it's really large, it's good information, but we're gonna have a eight by 10, um, 8.5 by, by 11 inch um, standard brochure, glossy print, of course, you're gonna have to spend some money to make some money, right? That's important. And then you're gonna have your rack card that has almost the same information as well, but you're gonna have both. It depends on how it's delivered. That's one thing that you should have, just the basics that you guys have. That's a smart thing to be able to understand. The next thing is, if you guys can create a bifold, I prefer bifold than trifold. If you have a, another brochure that has further explanation, right, create a bifold. The 8.5 by 11 is folded in half instead of folded into a trifold. A bifold's a lot easier. When you open up, you can have larger prints in there, more photos. Here's a suggestion in your a lot of your, vid, a lot of your um, brochures, pets, pets. People love puppies. So if you can find a photo of a patient or a senior citizen with a puppy, a real nice high quality one, right? Put that in your brochure. I would guarantee you there's a higher chance that somebody opens that up than seeing a lady, an old lady in a wheelchair being pushed by a nurse. Okay? That's just the truth. Puppies sell. Kittens sell. Use that to your advantage. So that's a quick technique that we actually work on and what we try to do within our company when we market, when we actually um, consult for other agencies as well. So what is in your sales proof toolkit? What else should be in there, right? Your little handouts that you guys can give away. Are you guys giving away certain things? We actually have a series, right, where we're gonna release a video every week starting 2019 where you will actually get weekly ideas on how to be able to you know, market, what to give away, because what events happening that the week before, you're gonna be able to have a heads up to that. So another thing we also have is our handout series where we specifically say, hey, these are things that we tested before that a lot of people enjoy. You know, one thing example is I'm gonna share with you guys is, have you ever heard, seen those massage, those stress reliever balls that, that a lot of people give away, right? So like a lot of orthos will give away bones, right? I always like using the foot squeezer, right? So a lot of you know podiatrists use those things, but the reason why I like the foot um, stress reliever is that if I haven't met the person, I am gonna, in the foot itself, I'm gonna write, it's gonna be written on it, say I just wanna be able to get my foot in the door, right? 
So what you're tr just trying to say is you're trying to get your one foot in the door. Okay, so it's just a little little mindset things, little little ideas that you guys can use. Something that makes you guys different from the other agencies, and you you guys really need to understand that this is very much important for you guys, because that's what's gonna get you guys noticed. And another thing, I want to be able to share this also with you guys. In your in your uh, sales proof toolkit, you need to be able to know right and here's another one here's a really good one is that you have, must have your business cards that's another one do you have a business card right and in your business card is it you know is it something that stands out so a lot of people just try to go to the minute press which is which they're good but they have higher they have a lot better type of prints but you just try to get the the monocolored uh, business cards where it's just black for your logo or you guys want to change it up a little bit you guys actually you know upgrade and got two-tone colors you know I suggest you guys get a full colored business card a full colored business card is a must for you guys right now don't do the real estate thing and put your photos in it right because what you're doing is you're giving an opportunity for someone to create an objection right away like hey I would not want to put my photo, right? But I'm a lot better when I'm talking to someone and when I start showing them that how our services work, then more likely it's gonna we're gonna get really um, have a higher chance. But if we have if you know if you look at your business card right now, what are other things you can add to that? Um, you can add a QR code. I have that in my in my business card. Um, if you don't know what a QR code, just look it up, just Google it right now. Um, what it is, is that when I'm talking to a physician or a potential referral source and I give them a business card and I say, hey, do you have a scanner in your phone? Because yes, they have a scanner in their phone. Why don't you scan this really fast? It's a very much an important information I want to be able to send to you and give to you. So when they scan the QR code, automatically it pulls up all my information about me my name, my phone number, the company I work with, my email automatically creates a contact in their phone. And then I say, why don't you save that? It's a good information to have in your phone. Bam, now I'm in their phone. So these are little techniques that you guys should have. I hope this is valuable for you. Our goal here at Home Health Success Academy is to give you guys success and ideas. So once again, home health marketing is easy if you know what you're doing.